All right, so what we're going to be doing here is adding admin roles or just user roles in general to our Yelp camp. Uh, this is a question that's come up quite a bit, so I figured I'd just throw together a little video. Um, so I didn't have anything prepared for this. I'm just going to do it kind of from the hip, and we'll see what we come up with. So here's my Yelp camp. I'm going to go into my models, the user model. Right now we have username and password as a string. So I'll put admin, or a lot of people will do something like is admin. Whenever you're dealing with booleans, you can put an is beforehand, kind of asking the question, is this an admin? So then we'll do uh, type of boolean, and then the default value for this will be false, and we'll save that. Okay, then in our view, and there's any number of ways that you could go about doing this, but I'm just going to kind of do what makes sense to me. And once you finish the video and you kind of get a hang for things like how everything works, then you can go back and tweak it, you know, to fit whatever the specifications are for your personal project. So in the views, whenever we're creating a user with register, go ahead and change this to HTML formatting. We have username and we have password. So I'm going to put a, uh, let's see here. I'll put a, an input, a text input, that basically asks the user to enter a code, like a secret code. And if they enter in the correct secret code, then we'll make them an admin. But if they don't know the code, then they can't be an admin. So instead of just giving them the option with like a radio button or a checkbox, something like that, we actually want to kind of validate the fact that they are in fact someone who should be an administrator. So we'll take this right here and we'll duplicate it so basically we're just adding another form group input type of text name is not going to be username it's going to be um, we'll just call it like admin uh, code and then the placeholder will say um, admin code and these should really all have labels um, I'm not going to worry about that right now because I just want to get the video made, but you can come back and you can put a label for each one of these for username, password, admin code. Okay, so let's go ahead and start up our server. So I'll run mongod and then I use no daemon. Um, this is the same as running node app.js. I'm just running uh, no daemon which keeps my server running continuously. I don't have to keep shutting it down, restarting it every time I make changes. So now inside of Chrome, I'm going to go to localhost 3000. This is where my server is running from. Uh, if you're on C9, of course, you would just preview and run the uh, app inside of C9's preview feature. Uh, so get started. We'll click sign up. And there's a bunch of weird stuff going on in here. This is running off of a um, production in lab database so people have just been uploading all kinds of stuff um, yeah so anyway we'll go to sign up and here's the admin code okay so now that we know that's there let's go over to our routes back to our register route well inside of index here it is for post register so as soon as you submit the form that we were just looking at it'll end up right here. We have new new uh, var new user is equal to a new user and then user of course points to the user model and then we give it the username and then down here we pass in the password. Okay, so I'm gonna use something called locus. Um, it's eval require locus and this is a NPM package that will allow me to kind of stop the code whenever it hits this point in the route and then we can take a look at what's going on we can see the variables that are available to us and so on and I'll actually move it down right here below new users so the new users uh, the variables created but the actual user hasn't been registered yet okay so in order for this to work you have to npm install locus so I've already done that but assuming that you haven't just do an npm i locus you don't have to save it. Um, this isn't something we'll use in production, so we just want it inside of our node modules directory. 
So once that gets installed, then you can go ahead and in my case, my server's already running in this other tab. So I'll go back here and I'll refresh. For username, uh, I'll just say John Doe, and then for password, password, and uh, admin code. So let's say the admin code is like um, secret code one, two, three. And it's fine that it's visible uh, because we're the only person that's gonna be seeing it. If you wanted, you could put it as like a password field so that it's hidden. Um, but either way, so I just put secret code 123 in there and I click sign up. So it's frozen, it says it's waiting for localhost. So I'm gonna go to my terminal and this is Locus right here. So you can see that it froze the code right where it says eval require Locus. So there's new user right there and it's kind of hard to see, but you can say new user and here it is, is admin false username, John Doe, so on and so forth. Um, okay, so is admin is false by default. So if we ran a conditional and we checked rec.body um, on admin code and a secret code evaluated to what we want it to evaluate to, then we could say new user dot is admin is equal to true. And then whenever new user gets passed into the next section of code, then it's going to make that person an admin. So we'll go ahead and exit. It's gonna run the rest of the code. So if we go back to here, it's logged in John Doe. And um, now John Doe is an admin. Uh, so he'll be able to do whatever an admin is allowed to do, which I'm assuming is gonna be an admin will have the ability to delete anyone's posts, edit anyone's posts, basically do anything that anybody else will be able to do and probably some extra stuff too. So right here, we need to actually write the full logic here. So we'll say if rec.body dot, and then what do we call it? The admin code. So dot admin code is equal equal to, and then uh, we said something like um, secret something rather. Uh, so we'll just say, um, secret code 123 and this could be anything you want and the only people that are going to know about this are people that should be administrators so obviously you want to make it something that's not very easy to guess um, if the admin code does evaluate the secret code 123 then we'll go ahead and take that new user dot is admin and set it equal to true and if of course this doesn't match then this code will never get run we don't have to worry about it it'll default to false so that's pretty much all we need to get the user to be either an admin or not an admin so now how do we determine whether or not the person actually is an admin well there's an like i said before we're going to make it to where an admin can edit and delete all the other posts but before we do that let's do something much simpler um, on the home view the index page we'll put something in the header that will only show if the person is an admin. So my formatting is kind of messed up in here because this is four spaces and I used two. But anyway, um, we'll do, oh, that's really annoying. Okay, uh, we'll write some EJS. We will say if current user dot is admin, and this will actually break if a guest is viewing the home page because current user won't exist. So let's make sure that current user exists. So if current user and current user dot is admin, then, uh, and we'll close that, and we'll close this. Then we'll just do something really simple like put an H1 in here and say, you're an admin. Okay. So if I go back here and I refresh, I'm logged out. We log back in as John Doe. And it says, you're an admin. Awesome. So if I log out and I log back in as, I don't know if I have any other accounts on here. Okay, I guess I do. So uh, it says, welcome to Yelp Camp, but it doesn't say you're an admin. So that user is not an admin. The only way that I'd be able to make Ian uh, my user and admin is if I went in to MLab or with the Mongo shell and changed, looked up that user and then changed the is admin value from false to true and then saved it back into the database. So now we can log out, we can sign up, 
we'll sign up a brand new user so we'll just call this person not an admin um, and so the admin code if we just leave it blank because we don't have the admin code code uh, we're just a regular user then we can sign up and it says successfully signed up nice to meet you not admin and it doesn't say that you're an admin so we'll log back out and we'll just try this one more time to, uh, to be sure that it's working so we'll sign up and just to remind myself what the code was was like secret secret code one two three so we'll say username is an admin give it a password and then uh, secret code one two three and it says you're an admin okay cool so it works this is our feature for being able to set people as an admin or not an admin and this could equate to anything else if you want a person to have any type of role uh, whether they're a member or if you have like some educational thing a platform where there's teachers and students stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and log out log back in as uh, John Doe okay so let's get rid of this you're an admin and that's going to be inside of index here you're an admin and let's go ahead and take a look at some of our uh, middleware that we've already written that yeah either does or doesn't allow you to edit different things so first of all on the show page for any one of these before we look at the middleware let's look at the show page and this is saying if the current user exists in the campground author ID equals a current user okay then they can edit and delete well they can at least see those buttons so additionally let's say or current user exists and uh, current user dot is admin and we don't have to say equal 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 true or double equal true or anything like that because uh, if is admin is a boolean it's going to either return true or false um, so there's no need to compare it against the boolean value true or false so we say if the current user uh, is the author of the campground then let them edit or delete or that's the pipes if the current user exists and the current user is an admin then also let the administrator you know edit and delete things so now if I go and I refresh this and mind you um, a lot of stuff I didn't create right so I'm signed in as John Doe and I didn't create like any of these because I just created John Doe so if I go to Yosemite then here's the edit and the delete button and my Google Maps isn't working probably because my key is only registered for the um, the Heroku address instead of Lobos 3000 but anyway that's neither here nor there so edit and delete are available to me if I click on edit it's not going to let me do it I don't have permission so that's going to be the middleware so now what we want to do is take a look at let's see here routes campgrounds and then for the edit page it does a check user campground and that's inside of middleware so if we go inside of middleware to index.js and we see check user campground it says okay is are you logged in that's the rec dot authenticated or is authenticated so if you're logged in then go ahead and find the campground by the ID and then if the campground uh, author ID equals the rec dot user ID and then here yet again we're gonna say or current uh, we might be able to do it with rec dot user so let's say rec dot user dot is admin and save it and see what happens so if we refresh probably gonna log me out so I'll go ahead and log back in John Doe password okay and that was under Yosemite it could be any one of these really I'll click edit and what do you know now even though I'm not the person that created this it's gonna let me go in here and view this page now when I click update um, let's see if it lets me through it does so there's once you get to the edit page there's no middleware stopping you from updating it just by clicking update so that's fine uh, if you wanted more security you could add that but since we don't have it we're not gonna worry about it um, deleting what if I want to delete it so I actually like this one it looks pretty nice so I'm gonna go back to home and I'm gonna pick on one that isn't really a campground so this obviously 
uh, is not a campground. It looks like San Francisco. Yep. So uh, we'll just delete it. And it said it was deleted, and now it's gone. So right now, so far, and like some of these don't even have images. So if you go to them, yep, without a picture, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and delete that. Another one, delete it. So as an administrator, I'm allowed to just go in here and delete and edit stuff willy-nilly. Um, okay, so now there's some other middleware I want to check. There's one called check user comment. So comment .find by ID. This is basically the same thing, but uh, for a comment instead of a campground. So it says comment.author.id is equal to rec.userid, and we'll say or rec.user. is admin. So if you're an admin, yet again, no problem. You're allowed to edit and delete all the people's comments. So that should pretty much be it. I'm going to go back now and find one that has a comment. Let's go ahead and refresh. We need to log back in and. We'll log in as John Doe. And if you're wondering what that is in the background, uh, we're watching the show Sherlock right now. Okay, so uh, Rocky Point. This has Wow, uh, I'm a little boosy, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so, where are the edit and delete buttons? Okay, so we need to go back to Campground Show Page and then down here to the edit and delete for the comment and this is yet again it's the same thing so we say or make sure that current user exists and current user dot is admin and it's as simple as that so right now we're saying if the current user exists or is logged in rather and the comment dot author id is equal to the current user id or if the current user exists and the current user is an admin okay so We'll save that, refresh it, and it didn't log me out, um, which is great. So here they are, edit, delete, all this stuff. So this one says, uh, wow, by test one, two, three, and uh, Elijah and all these people's comments. So I, I would hate to delete people's stuff, but um, just for the sake of showing that we can do stuff, we'll say, wow, with exclamation mark, and there it is. And uh, sorry, test one, two, three, but we're going to delete your comment. So uh, we'll click delete and comment deleted. And now it's gone. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much it. You can see how an administrator has all this cool stuff they can do. And if we log back in as a, a not an administrator, so I think the username is not admin. Um, and then we go look at someone's stuff that we didn't create no edit button, no delete button. Uh, something that has a bunch of comments on it, no edit buttons, no delete buttons. Okay, so that's it for user roles for the admin role on Yelp Camp. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them in the Q&A. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.